guys welcome back it's jim with happy humble home and it's time for the friday update where we just talk a little bit about how this week has gone here at happy humble home so get that coffee something like that and let's get going okay so first up uh, the little flower bed um update i guess like not much has been done it still kind of looks the same we got those two plants re um replanted i guess and then like all the roots that we had piled up are gone and that's about it like there hasn't been much more of an update really on that because we just haven't gotten around to it it'll it'll happen though and finally it's been warm enough this week to be able to do some work in it we just haven't we've had plans and everything else has happened so we will just get it done when we get it done however my vegetables are growing really really well the carrots i think i think we still for the majority of the carrots that i planted i think we left them uh too like we waited a little bit too long for them but we do have some coming up still and they are continuing to grow it's been really dry this week which is a change but it's going they are growing still and i'm just making sure that we keep them nice and water the tomatoes though are looking really really good like i have a whole bunch coming up there and over there and then this little guy we've got some working over here and they have a lot of blooms on them this one's gotten really big and he's working on a couple right there so those are looking really good my taters have just started dying off i don't really know what happened but this one it was like not like that this morning and then i came out here later in the day and it was but they're getting ready to harvest thankfully so hopefully that we'll get that harvest soon and then as you can see i do still have the little carrots yeah i do have still some just kind of sporadically growing here and there not as uniform as i would like them to be but Again, I think we waited a little too long to get them up. And then plus probably the dog walking in here at some point. And the past has probably not helped any, but, but okay. they're growing really well. So I'm really excited. And I'm really excited to see the harvest that we get from this, um, from that bunch of taters. Hopefully it'll be a really good harvest. We haven't done much of anything really this week other than just hanging out with friends and enjoying summer. Um, I did, however, go ahead and this morning actually finished up the education plan for the upcoming year for home life for our umbrella school. Then I needed, because I had already registered the boys but and submitted their grades for the spring. But in order to complete the registration process, you do have to submit a education plan by August 1st for Home Life Academy. And you do not have to have the books in hand because I still have not placed my final curriculum order. But I did go ahead this morning since I already know the books I want. I already have them in the cart. I just have to order them. I went ahead and put in their final education plan. And then within a minute, I got a confirmation of enrollment because I have submitted their grades and attendance. I have registered and paid for them for this coming school year and I have submitted their education plan. So we are good to go. All I need is to order the books and then August 9th is when we will start. And then that's, and that's it. That's all I have to do on the, I guess, logistical side for lack of better words for it. Now, again, if y'all have any questions on umbrella schools or how to find out the laws because every state has different laws um to find out the laws in your state go check out the we're doing this so now what video i'll leave a little link um go ahead and check that out because it gives some really good resources it gives more specifically if you're in tennessee but also if you're in other states it does also i talk a little bit about how to find out what your state needs and to go from there and what an umbrella school or church related school is versus independent homeschool at least according to tennessee law that's the wording that they use but it's been really good the boys are excited the summer reading program is kind of going like 
they've completed several of them. We haven't got a full bingo yet, but they are, they have completed several boxes. They are working on them. Like I said, it is a little bit harder of a challenge just because they are older. And for those prizes that we gave them, it's well within easily. It's easy enough to obtain for their age, but challenging enough to make it like they have to want the prize, I guess, for lack of a better word. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. So it's all going really well and we're able to get all that finished up. Um, pretty soon we have, I mean, at this point we're already halfway through June already. So we just pretty much have all of July and like two weeks in August and we're back into it already. Summer always goes by fast. Am I the only one that feels like summer goes by fast? Like even when my kids were in school, like in public school, I feel like summer went by really fast. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But either way, um, also I did order, I don't know how many of y'all are familiar with the Tuttle Twin books. If you've read them or if your kids have read them, have any experience, feedback, I would love to hear any advice about them because I did recently just order a set of used books from a lady on one of, again, a Facebook group. And she, I got those books today. I've already read the first one because I have, I didn't know anyone personally that had used them that could give me feedback on them. And I do intend to use those for both the boys this coming school year. So I will be incorporating that kind of like I did with the Rush Revere in the past um, with the books. I still will incorporate Rush Revere as well. And it does offer like PDF workbooks for every single book. The 12 books that I have, I'll actually show you that here in just a minute. The 12 books that I have or that I got from this lady were the ones that are for ages 5 through 11. So they're not as thick as I thought they would be. But that's okay though because again that makes it for an easy read and there is discussion there is a few discussion questions in the back of each book and it also gives kind of where that principle I guess yeah that principle for that particular book comes from from a different larger book that I will probably end up reading or checking out to see if you know just I want to read it for personal reasons or if it's something that might be a good book to incorporate a little bit more into the boys studies because while I do like the curriculums and all I do like the freedom to be able to incorporate other books or kind of like for the presidency I can kind of take a detour from the curriculum and focus on what's current and happening or what you know like the upcoming political election something like that's happening so that's one good thing about homeschooling is that I'm I kind of have that freedom a little bit more to schedule it how I want and it still um, incorporates their schoolwork and education and learning and another good thing too to about HLA is that they do allow like all different types of homeschooling like they do the unschooling or the semester year-round that kind of stuff so as far as your education plan goes it can look totally different than mine and they're very understanding about it. they're very helpful they don't there's not a one size fits all and they don't expect it to be like that either which is really nice because you know a lot of times when it comes to some organizations and all if you're not careful you have to have it just right or else they won't accept it or something like that i've never had that problem with it past families that have used it i've never you know none of them have ever had an issue with their education plan not being accepted or anything like that and even on the website, they give you a whole bunch of different definitions or examples of what an education plan can look like that fits your family and your ideas and what you want for your homeschooling. Okay, so just real quick, I did want to show you one of the Total Twin books. I'm not going to go into a review on them at this time, but I've already talked, since I talked about it a little bit in the video, see, they are very easy reads. They're like, I think for ages 5 to 11, so they are a lot easier reads than what I thought they were but they do have books for older kids as well but one thing I do want to point out real quick is that on the back right here it talks about um, the, this book is called the Tell Twins learn about the law and then this one down here 
it says about the book, the law. So you can actually, most of the books that I've looked at, on the back of it, it will tell you what other book or essay it was based upon. So that pretty much wraps up everything this week that's happened here in Happy Humble Home. Tomorrow, we're gonna go to Nancy's Trace, we're gonna go to Oats. They have a shooting range, so we're gonna go shooting, we're gonna do some paddle boating, and probably walk some of the trails, um, and just have a good day with family tomorrow. So it's been a really good week. I was able to get some school stuff done. We was able to do some relaxing summer activities. The flower bed got worked on a little bit. Vegetables are doing really good. So it's all going really great. As always, I love to hear from y'all. Let me know what y'all are up to, some of your favorite summer activities. If you've done a reading bingo in the past and it's gone really well, if you know anything about the Tuttle Twins, any questions, anything, I love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe because that helps um, promote the channel more or if you have homeschool families or just homesteading families that are that like to watch videos then definitely let them know about my channel I would love to hear from y'all don't forget if you missed the last week's update there was also a really cool promo code that I posted about the mama works the um, a mama's a mama's works cups so that you've seen me in several videos that promo code i'll leave that promo code in the description below as always y'all have a great week and we will check back in later